Hi, AT from CNC at home. My mom has this little short canoe paddle, and she was asking if I could burn an image onto one of the faces here. The other side has the branding on it, and this side was blank. She's thinking of hanging it on the, the wall in her kitchen as just kind of a decoration. So we got together, we looked at some pictures, and she chose one of a, of a water-powered grain mill. And I've got a it's kind of a sample burn that I did here. It's going to look something like that. It'll be just a little bit bigger, and it'll be on the, the face of the paddle on this side. So that's what this is going to be about. The, uh, if you remember this burning test, the, hopefully those numbers will help me get a good burn on, this, uh, on the face of this paddle. So, anyway, let's get into uh, light burn, do some work there, and the big trick is going to be putting this paddle into the laser because it's not flat. I don't know what you can see on here, but it's, it doesn't show up too well, but right down the center it's, it's thicker, and that's for strengthening the paddle, so it's thicker, and it's also thinner out here on the tip, Then as you go in it does get thicker as you approach the handle. So I'm going to need to get this in the laser, and I'm going to have to tilt it ever so slightly, I'm exaggerating here, so that this is relatively flat. And then the area that I'm burning, I can focus on kind of the average height of that. So if I go up a little bit higher, a little bit lower, it won't be a big deal. That's going to be the big trick on this project. So let's get this all set up and uh, show you the results. Here we've started a new project in Lightburn. The first thing we do is we bring the image in. Pretty straightforward. Now what I want to do is do an edge trace on that. So I click that and the default settings are following the lines pretty well. So we click OK. And what we've done is we've converted a picture into a vector graphic file. We can get rid of the picture and I'll take this uh, vector file and by pressing the period I can rotate it around to the orientation I need. And we'll put it down here in the lower left corner. Let's zoom in on that. Okay, maybe a little bit less. Oh, there we go. Now we'll make this bigger. So I'm going to lock the lower left hand corner so that stays put. And then I'm going to increase the width to 150 millimeters. This is the size that I'm going to need for my burn. Now we'll set the burning parameters. And based off of the burning tests I did, I'm going to do 1,500 millimeters per minute at 80% power. I'm going to make sure this is set to one line per millimeter and 90 degree scan angle. Okay, that's set. Now this is ready to send to the laser for burning. Let's take a quick preview of this before we do that. Take a look at that. It's going to take about an hour and a half to burn. So this is going to be a little bit longer of a burn. We do a quick preview. We see it burns from the right-hand side over to the left. Okay. This is all set. I've gathered a few little pieces, uh, some wedges, some popsicle sticks, and chunks of wood to help me level out this paddle in the laser. I also have a level to help me with that. It turned out I only needed one piece uh, underneath the, the tip of the Camu paddle, and that uh, leveled it up pretty well. I put a little, uh, actually a big weight on the end to hold it still. I'm adjusting the laser position and the paddle position to make sure that it's going to burn in the area that I want. I need it to be a little bit over on the edges to, so that the image actually goes all the way to the edge on the bottom of the image, but not quite on the top. I want to see the whole thing on top. Here I'm doing a quick check of my burn area, and that looks pretty good. I'll do another frame real quick. By holding the shift key and clicking frame, the laser is on while it's doing this. Looks good. Let's start the burn.
This turned out pretty well. I like it. The detail is good and it fits right in the height that I wanted to, for this paddle. Let's take a closer look. You can see the detail is pretty good. The burning parameters that I set worked well for this. This will look good hanging on the kitchen wall at my mom's house. Oops. Hi, I'm AT from CNC at Home. If you like our content, help support our channel by clicking on subscribe and liking our videos. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun with your CNC at Home projects.